warning, <laughs> this podcast contains spoilers and loud people. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the As Seen on TV podcast for The Vampire Diaries, Season 7, Episode 14, Moonlight on the Bayou. I'm your host, Mike, and joining me are three semi-broken individuals by the name of Nikki. Hi. And Dom. I, I, not, no broken bones here. You guys, you guys have unbroken, and the still broken Kim. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh my god. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. I'm so excited because this I didn't expect it to be a super crossover episode, which it was. I was like, oh, we're not seeing Stefan. Yeah, no way. What? <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, it was a nice way to intertwine the I, I'm just going to I'm gonna throw it here right before we, we start. Um due to the nature of this crossover, it's going to be really difficult for us not to talk about the originals. Yeah. <laughs> so be prepared to have the originals semi season, season three semi-spoiled. So if you're not caught up, yeah. uh, season three, episode 14 of the originals, turn back now. I mean... So I, I by, by see, not seeing Stefan, I meant, like, the originals... Mm -hmm. that, that, I mean, that's where I, I thought we were doing the originals first for some reason. Probably because that one excited me more than this one, so that, that's why I was like, oh my god. But, yeah. They did a good job of... It was of, really good originals. So. Yeah, well, they, they both great episodes. They did a good job of keeping the main plots of each episode out of each other's crossover. Somewhat. Yeah. But they yeah. did borrow elements from each. Like, I mean... To a degree. I mean, they went... A main plot of the Vampire Diaries carried over into the original, so... Yeah, the, just suddenly it's like, hey, Reyna! You know? Yeah. Yeah, they... Really, you had to watch both episodes to get the full effect. 100%. Because they really yeah. were yeah. just together. But they did bring up a good point. Reyna Cruz, some crazy huntress lady. Klaus has probably heard of her. Mm-hmm. In fact, mm -hmm. a number of all of the older vampires we're dealing with in the originals have probably heard of her. Yeah. Does Raina's weapon work on an original? You know, that is a gray area that they did not. Hmm. Yeah, they didn't see anything about that whatsoever. So that that's that's. Hey, maybe you know what we found out this episode about Klaus not being around for three years. Big bombshell. Right Boom. in the beginning, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Caroline shows up to see one of her old friends, and it's like, looking for Klaus Michelson. He hasn't been seen in three years. Yeah. So we know that, well, I guess we don't 100% know, but it seems like, I, spoiler, <laughs> originals, that we may see Klaus disappear at the end of the originals. Uh, end of the season, yeah. And it, yeah. And it seems that this is their way of starting to push the originals up to be in sync with the time jump that we're getting in Vampire Diaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which we've been talking Which, about. Did you notice that we didn't get a three-year jump at the end? We didn't get a... Right. We just well, got, we got we it got at the beginning. beginning. Three-year jump in the end of the episode, only at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I said beginning, but not at the end. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> normally when they started they, they were starting off we had a three year jump in the beginning and then we had a three year jump at the end they did a three year jump at the end this this episode yep so uh okay. the whole the the, the mm, where, where am I going here the heretics being is, is all is Tyler yelling in the background somewhere yeah I know right it's not here B <laughs> I mean, why, what do you why do you have Tyler chained up to the wall <laughs> Wouldn't it? No, I'm oh. <laughs> I wouldn't. He's not got a poop permanent face. poop face. Yeah, I don't I'm not need poop really, face. Yeah, I'm not really into Tyler. So what I was saying is the heretics fear and their whole, you know, I guess you could say party line that they've been towing here with since Raina came back is never stop moving once you're marked. You cannot stop moving. And we see how true that is when Stefan stops moving for one minute to pick up a phone charger. And suddenly he's getting a sword thrown at him. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, 
Don't stop moving. <laughs> Ever. Ever. How did I still want to know how did Bo stop for so long? Because Reyna was dead Raina or incapacitated. Was she was incapacitated. She was, for a while, she was tied up in a hospital bed, aging. Also, completely drugged. Like, she was sedated. So, she was not like able she got to there. go after him. Yeah. It also helps that, you know, Bo was in the prison world for close to a century. As well, yeah. So, I mean, plenty of time for Reyna to die. Or get old. It's, that's a technical, I guess, technically being dead, being there in this other realm. Yeah, okay. I forgot about the other realm, but as soon as he got out, she, yeah, she was tied to the bed. Okay. okay. She was tied to the yeah. bed. She was old. She was senile. There was, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, do for a reincarnation. <laughs> think about I've it. I've already forgotten that they were in the prison world. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got some lady who's old in Ohio who just is spouting, you know, you're, she's in for medical treatment, and she's spouting, I need to get out and hunt vampires with my soul-stealing sword. What are you going to do to her as a medical professional? Let her go. Well, are we, sh we need sure to kill her? That's how she, we don't know that's how we ended up there. I mean, she literally could have ended up there because Head the vampire cannon. decided to shove her in there. Head cannon. I like it. I, I, I watch enough <laughs> TV that I know if there's some crazy person that claims to be a vampire hunter, they're probably actually a vampire hunter. I've seen Grimm. I've seen Supernatural. I've seen the Vampire Diaries. I know. I know what's out there. You hey. you, you can't fool me. Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Come on. Mm -hmm. You can't fool me. I know what's out there. Right? It's all real, guys. So Stefan is running to New Orleans because apparently there's a lovely little bar that um, magic has no effect in. It's a magical dead zone. I don't think it's just the bar. I think it I think it was all of New Orleans. No, not all of New Orleans. It was just the bar. The was bar had a magical bar? cloaking no, spell on it, yeah. It this is plot points from last season of Originals, I believe. They uh I forget who did it, but someone put the spell on there to keep uh Dahlia out. I think that was the deal. I remember the Dahlia thing, but I don't remember it being in a bar. I thought it was in like a well, room somewhere. I thought it was an old decrepit house. It was no, it was an old, rundown, decrepit bar. Oh, oh okay. yeah, because Hope was in there. I remember, and Hope was like behind the bar yep. counter. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get it so now it's, too. It's revealed. It got all prettied up. And now it's a fancy bar. I just love it. Stefan's orders a drink, and like you know, suddenly a shot glass slides down the table. Like, Hello, old friend. Oh, Klaus, you smooth motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love Klaus so much. Like <sighs> that, the Caroline jealousy. Oof. I don't even know Oof. if it was jealousy. It's it, more. It was more like he still cares for her, not yeah. in a jealous way. It's like just don't let her get hurt. Protect it her. Definitely he started out her. jealous. It, it it like we saw the transformation. It's hundred percent started out jealous, and it oh. it's kind of shifted as Klaus realized exactly what was going on and exactly how much he cared. And we even saw that transgress into the originals when, when we had the final talk with them. But yeah, no, it was. I, I felt there was definitely the jealousy at first. Yeah, a, a little bit. A little bit. There was definitely a little bit there because, again, well, we, I see. I, I've I like. I've always liked the Klaus and Caroline dynamic. The, the, the words dynamic. Against me. Dynamic. Yeah. yeah, that was the word. Is like the so. The dynamite. Yeah, dynamite. <laughs> um, Dynamo? So to see that, what? Dynamo. He's, he's a what? really good magician. Have you seen Dynamo? He's great. He's like Chris Angel, but without the. Are you ready? <laughs> the... <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So to see see that come up again. The I... I'm done with Would you. Would you let the <laughs> fish? <laughs> I, I, I get what you're talking about. The I whole am, Caroline man. does have I, Caroline still has a hold over Klaus in some tiny way. Yeah, she does still have influence, and she I mean, tits. Yeah, there is that <laughs> <laughs> vampire boobs. <laughs> that's, how we, that's how we fix everything. Magical. We say boobs. But <laughs> Klaus immediately met, recognized the mark as the mark of the Phoenix Sword. And he was like, you made an enemy of Reina Cruz, and now you cut bring it to my city. The place where she was born and caused a fucking ruckus 80 years ago. Mm-hmm. 
So only eighty. That's years. what he I, did. He say eighty years ago. I think he I gave a time. He said he set a time, and he has like killed a bunch of my, you know, a bunch of really good men of mine. But I don't uh, remember whereabouts in the episode was it? Beginning Which when he was in the bar. Was the, the very very beginning of the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as well, soon as he recognized he noticed... the sword. I mean, he hops I remember... up, he gets all pissed off. It doesn't matter. It's this just bullshit into my into my. Into, yeah, you into brought this house. bullshit into my house, so get out. But I can't get right. out because Raina will kill me. I'll I mean, kill you if you stay. It feels so much longer than eighty years. Because, you know, Lily and them, they were stuck in that prison world longer than that. And Reyna was there before they got put in it. True, but that doesn't mean Reyna wasn't bombing around while they were stuck in the prison world. How long was Klaus away from New Orleans, though? Wasn't yeah, it in the, the 20s? Klaus was a, was a long for a while. But, no, what I'm getting at is that you said born, and that threw me off. Oh, she was born, yeah, but... No, she was born long before that, but yeah. Yeah, but that's something... That at the time that she was messing around. That was the time she went, you know, messing around and fucked with, you know, Klaus yeah. and his people. Anyway. Um, yeah, he's all ready to kill Stefan and throw him out, and then Caroline... Talk, oh. yeah calls. Klaus gives some great advice um, on consoling the babies and stuff like that. And I mean, this was a line that stuck with me and I had to write it down. It's not a crime to love what you cannot explain. I just rewatched the scene. He didn't actually say a date. He said she was born in New Orleans. Yes, that I got. Okay, I could have so sworn he... He didn't actually say what time I could have sworn he said a time frame, but maybe I'm just thinking of something else anyway um so yeah like i was saying klaus gives some great advice to caroline or just gives her some reassuring words because of the crazy conflicted feelings she's feeling she's got two babies that she carried around that aren't hers yet she still loves them to you know to death mm-hmm but she doesn't really quite grasp that yet, I guess? No, she does. She grasps it, but because they are not hers, she doesn't want to connect with them. That's why she mm. was just... That's why she wasn't picking up the baby. That's why she was trying to console it while it was fussing, while it was still in the chair. Um, so as soon as Klaus said, just pick up the baby, and she did, everything just came forward, and she knew exactly what she had to do at that point. Mm. She had to accept her love. For these mm-hmm. children so mm-hmm. I mean now she knows that she has to stay and that's exactly what her and Alaric were figuring out mm-hmm. alrighty um yeah this Klaus swears to keep Stefan safe but she upholds that promise by sending Raina flying 30 feet through the air with a tire iron mm-hmm. kills her he does she's dead now at the but, moment yeah <laughs> She'll regenerate. Yeah. She doesn't take her time about it either. She's pretty damn quick on the draw. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did come back very quickly. I wonder. Mm-hmm. It must not be fire every time. I don't think. I think it's just reincarnation in general. It might be. Might depend on how she died. Mm-hmm. Um, no, maybe. Because if she, she ages, if she, you know, turned old, it, she may reincarnate, you know, younger old. again. Wow. Because um, yeah. we, we saw that in... Mm-hmm last week when Enzo yeah. took the body um, you know and, and locked it up it, it just may depend like if she gets severed in half and dies that way the body may just reassemble itself maybe yeah. that's one way to keep Reyna not at bay, at bay. you know chop oh. her up in little bits and bury her parts all over the world I, that would, I would be just, interesting <laughs> I, I would just uh chain her like they chained Michael in the coffin you know yeah. whatever and then like magically seal the coffin and then like drown the coffin like they did on the originals to uh, Tristan. Tristan yeah yeah get, well, put him in a put him in a box he can't get out of I remember back like when their dad because he was a psycho freaking you know vampire hunter wanted them dead shit Michael so yeah. Michael, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, same same concept. Yeah, the yeah, he was completely chained up. Or I, for some reason, in my head, it was like cut off her head, bury it somewhere else. I mean, <laughs> that might be her weakness. We don't know. 
Yeah. Like I mean, I couldn't see how she'd come back or regenerate it, if her body is. Everything has a weakness. Totally yeah. different area. Um. So moving on to Enzo and the Armory. Is that what you're trying to do, Kim? What? Is that why you have Tyler locked up? You're trying to lure Enzo and Damon to your house? Yes. All right, then. So <laughs> Enzo <laughs> is involved with this group called the Armory. And apparently um, they're all secret society stuff. They keep themselves out of history really well. And they lock up supernatural artifacts. So they're basically the, the librarians? I would say they're basically the men of letters. <laughs> and, yeah, from Supernatural, or you have the librarians, the TV series slash yeah. book series, uh, TV movies too as well on TNT, uh, or even um, Warehouse 13. Yeah, there you go, Warehouse 13, yeah. that works. <laughs> Apparently their primary sub you know, goal right now is to get Reyna, because she is a supernatural wonder of the world. She's the, the tenth wonder of the world. Sure. You know what? I'm. I, she's a supernatural wonder of the world. Haley is a supernatural wonder of the world. Hope is a supernatural wonder of the world. How many supernatural wonders can we fucking get? Uh, Damn the it! Doppel, the doppelgangers, the Petrova doppelgangers. Yeah. Doppelgangers. There you go. Damn many so far. We have Unless a lot. Stefan, Stefan doppelgangers. Count them. I mean, how many? I mean, before it becomes unspecial. Before Alaric they're just... is the first vampire to become human again? Mm -hmm. There's a number of them. A lot. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff that mm -hmm. shouldn't have happened, did happen. Anyway, the plan is to get Stefan to the armory, to lure Reyna back to the armory, so they can capture her. To which Valerie says, fuck no, because uh, apparently they're dark and full of lies. Yeah, but how did they plan to contain Reyna, getting her back in the armory? They already had her once. I have no idea. She literally just punched the glass and came out. She like, shoulder charged was... through some pretty thick glass, yeah. Well, she, she, was, like, first she punched it. pained glass. Yeah, she, first she punched it to see the strength of the glass, and then she just, like, shoulder charged right through it, and, like, poor Enzo oh, was it. shitting his pants. I thought she took a running fist bump to it. No, she ran into it with her shoulder. She charged it. Yeah. Um, so she, I have she no ran, idea. She like... No idea how they're going to contain her. But what they do have contained is Tyler. And what does Enzo do? He locks Damon in a room with him. On the night of a full moon. I... Okay. I know I missed something. Who did Tyler kill so that he had to turn again? Because I know when you he walked know. through the Mystic Falls barrier when the Travelers were there... Um... That got ripped away. He was just a boy with the wolf gene again. I mean, we just we we had been we've talked about this a few times about yeah. like where is Tyler sitting? We didn't know. We're like, is he still a werewolf? Blah 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 blah. Well, obviously, now we know. His, his hybrid, but yeah, obviously he's either didn't. Are we sure that he dropped the werewolf stuff when he passed over? Yes. Okay, so it, all magical uh, stipulations were completely nullified walking through the barrier. Well, so yes. The, Something so, happened between Ben and... Yeah. They, said, they said he was just a boy with the wolf gene. I don't remember very carefully now. The wolf gene may, in fact, just be the werewolf half. Like, that's the werewolf gene. Like, as in, he's still a werewolf. He's not uh, a hybrid anymore. Did, did they specifically say he would not turn into a, a werewolf again and he had to kill somebody? Or was he, that an assumption we made? He didn't for, like, almost a whole season after that. The whole rest of the season, he wasn't turning into a werewolf. Okay. Hmm. So somewhere along the way, he must have killed someone. Somewhere where he left with Jeremy to go do this whatever, he killed someone. So something happened. Yeah. yeah, obviously. I mean, he obviously was still going to have the anger, he was still going to have the issues, so it was it was bound to, to po possibly happen again. Now, if they're hunting, and if he's with Jeremy hunting, is it possible, Does it? do we know if it's any, any kill, or it has to be a human kill, or it has to be just like, oh, he killed a vampire, oops! It's always just been taking a life. So maybe so he just took a vampire's a, life and I would say changed. if he ran a squirrel over? 
No. I think it was more complicated than that. Yeah. I know. It couldn't be Let, an accident. It had unless, to be intentional. Unless the squirrel was actually uh, somebody that a witch turned into. Or, you know, or a shapeshifter, person. which we really haven't ran into yet on <laughs> the Vampire Diaries. I think it had to be intentional. I think it had to be an yeah. intentional. No, it was not. In, no. It doesn't have to be intent. That was a big deal before, you know, way back season one or two. Oh, you're yep. right that it could have been an accident. His, his Uncle his Mason said it did, says it didn't matter if it was an accident or intentional. If you killed someone, you became a werewolf. So, oh, don't... wait. We completely forgot. Tyler killed Liv. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was it. Oh, shit. He killed his girlfriend. She told him to. I forgot about that. So did I, because I didn't like her. Is it bad that this I completely happens. forgot you don't about like her? Who cares? Oh, look, oh, that person that died off. Oh, yeah, that person I didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. I was just so overwhelmed with the charm of uh, Kai that mm -hmm. nothing else mattered that season to me. Yeah. So Damon has a good moment. Um, After being a snarky bastard all episode, he uh actually decides to save Bonnie over himself. He's well, done that before. He has done that before, but, you know, in his whole self-destructive spiral he was on, he finally kind of broke himself out of that, even briefly. I mean, was it really a self-destructive spiral? He was getting drunk and banging a girl. Is that self-destructive? I mean, yes, before that happened, he was, you know, throwing himself in the middle of the street, he was picking fights with Julian, but after that, you haven't re there wasn't really a self-destructive part. If uh, if that's if that's classified as self destruction, then I must be you know a glutton for punishment. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going off of. Well, for Damon, that's what he does. He does this the thing, whatever. He has sex with random women. That that's his self destruction. We've seen it. We saw it in season one. We've seen it. We've seen it. Well, we've seen it multiple times. He lays in the middle of the road, gets picked up by the yeah, hitchhiker, the the talks to them, and then it's like, I'm gonna kill you now. I don't. You know what? I don't think we've seen his true self-destruction. I think that's just a way for him to cope. A way for him to get over whatever's traumatized him, even if for this, a split second. Mm -hmm. If yeah. it was self-destruction, I mean, he'd be in way worse situation. Yeah, I guess probably. Oh, but, he um... did get in the ring to, to die, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And he left Stefan to be like, Stefan, just let me fucking die. But at that point, he thought Elena was dead. But True. she is not. She is not. Yeah. Well, I think it was a switch chain. The moment that he found out that she wasn't dead, yeah. it was like, oh, wait, damn wait a minute, it. I want to live. Fuck. Like, damn it. <laughs> I was kidding. Just kidding. Just yeah. kidding. I mean, Tyler did tell him this episode that Elena wasn't dead, right? And then that's when... Oh, he knew last episode. Did he know? Okay. Yeah. But he told yeah, Tyler, he's like, you know, he's like, what? If she was dead, you'd, you know, then you'd be accountable to nobody. Mm -hmm. Not in those exact words, but basically that line. Right. Mm -hmm. But... He does say to an unconscious Bonnie that he would be utterly devastated if she died. Yep. Which would have been a nice thing to say to her while she was still conscious. She knows it. She doesn't mm -hmm. have to be told. But let's talk about her chopping off Enzo's hand. Because <laughs> I giggled. Oh, a question that we had for the longest time was answered. Yes, can, it was. You're right. Can an appendage be reattached to a vampire? And it can... Oh. It can. So, like, we know that, you know, decapitation, you know, kills them, but he lost his hand and they attached it and it's back. It's working. <laughs> the accelerated healing's got to help. They probably only had to even crudely reattach it. I still, this is more confusing than not. How the hell does Bonnie and, and Enzo get together? Because right now, she just chopped his hand off. It's like... <laughs> I mean, that was far for Bonnie just to be like, fuck you, I hate you now, not give With shit. the line, you made me your enemy. I would have been a way better friend. Chop! See, yeah. What confuses me more is the fact that they even answered the question about the regeneration than leaving it ambiguous. Because we dealt with the doctor last season who plays Eddie on The Flash. More, um, more, he, more seasons ago. <clears throat> I thought it, it was, was the same it? season as Traveler season. Oh, two seasons ago. Yeah. Okay. Um. And he uh, 
he was experimenting like cutting out eyeballs and watching them regrow and things like that. So oh, you're yeah. telling me, you're telling me if they cut off a hand, the hand is not going to regrow, that they have to sew it back on for it to heal itself. Like that's just really confusing to me. So they they cut the hand off. So what is what happens if is does he heal? Like so does it just like heal skin cells over and like doesn't do that? But if body parts were regenerating, like the eyeballs... He's right, yeah. The doctor I, did, uh... Why wouldn't the hand do that? We were totally goofing on that doc's name the whole season, too. But, um... <sighs> it's just that that whole thing is really confusing. And he said he cut would cut out eyeballs and watch them regrow. I'm guessing over a long period of time. So maybe, maybe. they just reattach the hand, like, here, you can have it back today instead of six, six months, twelve months from now, however long it would take. Is he gonna leave a Franken-scar? Probably well, not. Find out. I mean, it, it was bandaged, so we didn't, and it, whatever. But it's possible. But here's the big, you know, kicker here. Apparently, Enzo's related to the Armory people. His daddy started it. His papa. His papa. Pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Some, I mean, oh. if that's the case, Enzo can start doing more now instead of just following orders you'd be like well if my dad started I'm the next in line get the hell out of the way you stupid little whoever you are however I'm related to you 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 know you're my 10th cousin or whatever <laughs> down the line 10th cousin yeah. but alright um so yeah we yes, already I, don't think it, well, it depends on how, I, guess it depends on how I mean like you know generation not like 10th out of relation kind of thing mm -hmm. so let's see Stefan is in New Orleans with Raina Chase in his ass mm -hmm. um, Bonnie is in unconscious coma we don't know in the hospital can't be healed because of whatever the hell Enzo gave her to shut off all magical effects on her um, and yeah Matt's still alive do you think she, this, you know, non-magical thing that Enzo gave her is kind of semi-permanent, and that's why she's kind of kooky in the rehab house in the future? Ooh. Why, three years from the future she had to go through some sort of, sort of rehab? Because, I mean, like, you know, Bonnie's always been super powerful, and to have her powers dumbed down or completely gone, and needing her to be, she needs to be involved, she needs to help, because that's how she feels all the time, and not being able to help would drive someone like Bonnie crazy. Uh -huh. And I guess maybe, you know, Enzo felt bad, so he's been helping her out, and that's why they get together, because he re like, I don't know. Possible. They both come to terms with something that they're they have in common, and I don't know. Like she forgives him. Or, I mean, she forgives him for all. Obviously, the they're together in three years. Obviously, yeah. stuff well, is forgiven. They're together in five years. We haven't seen a three years where they're together yet. Yeah, it was. It was that was the five year episode. Oh right. Yeah, the three years was just her with the kids. With Caroline, yeah. Well, and I don't freaking know. Something happens in five years, and they get together. Five years is a long time. It is, but I feel like we're going to yeah. start escalating the time jump quicker, because we're getting closer and closer to it. Yeah, yeah we're getting very close to it. Um, and it seems like uh, next episode is going to be leading up to the events of Damon setting up for the time jump, and the, there's only so much show you could have without Damon, so it seems right. like um, they're going to jump it pretty quickly. Now, was the break... Is the next show next week, or is it after a break? It's after the break, I believe. After the break. Right, so we're not going to have any, you know, more Vampire Diaries for three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, but the next episode is called I Would For You. Which is a great Jane's Addiction song. Uh -huh. While Stefan and Valerie search for a magical herb that can keep him hidden from Reyna, Damon comes up with his own plan to take her down for good. However, while at the Armory... Bonnie makes a shocking discovery about Reyna that brings Damon's plan to a screeching halt. I wonder where that could be. Elsewhere, a conversation with Caroline leaves Stefan questioning their future together, while Matt decides it may be time to truly take a stand against the vampires of Mystic Falls. Good luck, Matt. 
Finally, as the season's middle chapter draws to a close. Ooh, that's ominous. Okay, so no, I just looked. We have uh, yeah, one more we episode. have one more episode before okay. the break. <clears throat> oh, all right. Yeah. I thought, I thought we had one more episode. Okay, so finally, as the season's middle chapter draws to a close, Damon's desire to take himself out of the game ramps up as he races to complete unfinished business with Stefan and Monty. Okay. So, I mean, this herb, I know, is connected to the originals. It's something that Freya used. I'm not going to go any further than that. Go watch it, because this, this episode and the episode on the originals are very much connected. And it answers actually a lot of questions. So, even if you're not current with the originals, you might want to watch this just to finish up some of the stuff that you're asking for the Vampire Diaries. Um, it's also um, <clears throat> the Caroline Stefan thing is also addressed in the originals episode that connects with this one. So, all the they're just carrying on as if the original. Uh, episode didn't happen but it's good or, to watch if you really absolutely can't wait go tune in to our originals podcast where we will be discussing all these answers uh, as well There's that too. yeah alright so on that note that's our show mm-hmm. Nikki you can find me on twitter at ladyvenom24 l-a-d-y-v-e-n-o-m-24 dom you can find me at phenomenon ph E N O M E D O M. Kim. Kim. She, she hey. You can find me. <laughs> you unfroze. Yeah, yeah. I'm phasing out. Did I? There you are. Can you hear me? Okay. You can also follow me on Twitter at U F F I T Y P U F F I T Y. You can find me on Twitter at Thilladren, T H I L L A D R E N. I spelled it. <laughs> you can find all of us on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google, MySpace, and YouTube at ASO TV Podcast. You can follow us there for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, movies, and games. Thank you for watching, everyone. Yay! Oh my god! 